spent the night. Stayed out there all night long, all this morning, just to even catch a glimpse. And our specially selected studio audience that jumped through hoops to be here as well. We couldn't be happier to have the guys here. Tuesday, the Backstreet Boys sophomore album, Millennium, hits stores. And we are excited to talk about this record. My question is, after the, the success of the first one, you know, there's 28 million worldwide, what are your, what are your priorities when you, when you sort of regroup and go, you know what, we're going to make another record together as a band? What are you, and, you, and you take all the stuff that you've, you've grown and, and then maybe the music that you've heard since you were last in right. the studio. What are your, what's your priority list for Millennium? Just to definitely make this album a, a growth for us. We're always constantly, you know, setting new goals, and we want every album just to top the last album. And it's very hard. I mean, the success that we had off the last album, I mean, thank God we were very fortunate to have, like you said, 28 million across the whole world. And um, like I said, we just tried to, you know, make it the best that we can. We got together with some great producers, some of the same producers from the last album. There's some stuff that's on this album from us. So I, you know, I think we feel that this is our strongest album ever. And we hope that everybody else feels that way once they're here. I'm sure they will. Kevin, you and uh, Brian both wrote on the record. You want to tell us about your song? I mean, the record's not out yet. No one really um, has it, but... We, oh, we of course got, you guys do. We, we all decided that, I mean, we've been wanting to make the transition uh, into more of, of writers uh, for, our, for our own material. Um, that's a growth process. We didn't want to rush into it. I mean, a lot of artists have started out not writing all their songs like Janet and, and Michael and Madonna. They grew into it, and mm -hmm. that's something that we want to do. Um, and I, I decided that I would like to work with uh, Grammy Award-winning songwriter Gary Baker, uh, who wrote I Swear a couple years back. Mm -hmm. And uh, I went and spent the week at his home in Alabama and uh, sat down on his piano and started playing a song that I'd been working on. He got his guitar, and two hours later, we had Back to Your Heart. Very good. So... That's how it came out. So, AJ, tell us a little bit about, is, is there anything that you guys hear musically, what's going on? You know, like Nick mentioned Nirvana as being something that he was into. In the last three years, as you, you know, listen to the radio or whatever, they may have influenced this, some stuff on this record. Um, wow. I mean, there's been a lot of new, new groups and new kinds of sound. The whole punk scene is really making a real strong thing, like Korn and Orgy and Limp Bizkit and all that kind of stuff is really happening now. And it's like we were trying to get a little bit edgier on this album, like songs like Larger Than Life, having that rock guitar in there, and songs like Don't Want You Back with that kind of real edgy hip-hop type feel. So we're just trying to kind of get edgier, but not, we don't want to make it 360 and totally do something that's not Backstreet Boys. Right. We don't want to do something that's not us. So, But, I mean, there's still some similarities compared to the first album, but this is definitely, I think, and I think I can speak on behalf of the rest of the guys, this album kicks Backstreet Boys in the butt. So I think this one's definitely <laughs> I'll take your word for it. I agree. Nick, what do you think? You agree? Of course you do. It's your I record. Agree. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to see your butt here eventually, I promise you. Show the world, man. Show oh, no. the world. You don't want I don't to. know about that. Hey, speaking of... We're going to take a look at... All right, guys. We're going to take a look at this uh, commercial campaign that you guys put together for Millennium. Oh. This is fun. Oh, boy. Just, if you're at home, just watch your TVs right now. The countdown is on! Surf's up, and the countdown is on. Countdown is on! Backstreet Boys, Millennium, the new album, May 18th. Very good. It was awesome. Not that you needed a genius commercial to help you sell the record, but that's very funny. <laughs> that was fun. Where'd that stuff come from? That was our acting debut. We were just trying to do something <laughs> right fun and stupid. <laughs> and that was to, fun. We were trying to bring 
you know, we're looking at, at Millennium, or the album itself, as this is the first album we've ever released worldwide at the same time. The first singles and right. everything planned properly. So we wanted to tie in, like, all regions of the world, like, you know, Egypt or, you know, Spain or Europe. The or, jungle. Just all, <laughs> all kinds of things. We don't know where Nick's where Rain where they're from. from. Right. Well, we've also um, not only enjoyed the Backstreet Boys music, but certainly their music videos here at MTV. And when we get back, we're going to take a look back at the music videos from the Backstreet Boys. More of the Backstreet Boys live right here on MTV next. Stick around.